Welcome to our online. On the previous video, you may have thought that an infinite sum, the sum of an infinite number of numbers, comes out to be exactly equal to 6. Well, that's what happened when we had the sum of 3 plus 3 over 2 plus 3 over 4 plus 3 over 8 plus 3 over 16, all the way out to 3 over 4096, and on and on and on. For infinity, when we add it all up, we got the number equal to 6. And we use this equation where the infinite sum is equal to the first term divided by 1 minus r, r being the common ratio. It seems such a simple formula. How do we get the right answer? So we plugged in the numbers. Our first term was 3. See that in there? Divided by 1 minus the common ratio, which is 1 half. And we turn, turned out we got a number equal to 6. But let's find the partial sum of the first 13 terms. And here I have written the first 13 terms. If we add up the first 13 terms, how close do we get to 6? Well, it turns out it's the first term times 1 minus r to the n. In this case, n is 13 divided by 1 minus r. So plugging in the numbers, a1 is equal to 3 times 1 minus the common ratio. The common ratio in this case is 1 half raised to the 13th power, all divided by 1 minus r. All right, what is 1 half to the 13th power? Well, let's see, this is, this is 2 to the 10th power, 2 to the 11th, 2 to the 12th. So in essence, that would be equal to, oh, and I forgot to put the 1 half in here. Let's put a 1 half in there. So we get 3 times 1 minus 1 over 2 to the 13th power. Well, that's 2 to the 10th. 2 to the 11, 2 to the 12, 2 to the 13 would be 8,192, all divided by 1 minus a half, which is a half. All right, or this is equal to 6 times 1 minus 1 over 8,192. And let's see what that is equal to. So 1 divided by 8,192, subtract that from 1, and multiply that times 6 equals, and the number we get is 5.9992675.78. That's out to 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 decimal places. Now notice, to the first three decimal places, it's 5.9992675.78. So you can see how close we are already to the number 6 when we only go out to 13, the first 13 numbers or the first 13 terms. If we keep adding more, we'll get closer and closer and closer to 6. And then we add an infinite number of them, you get the number exactly equal to 6, which is why we got what we get over there. Interesting, when we deal with infinite series, we see some very interesting stuff. Definitely, this is, this is one of them. And that is how it's done.